Now, I've questioned this before on some of my other channels to do with A Mighty Wind and their whole organisation and some of the critics who seem to criticise A Mighty Wind because they're not the same brand of Christianity as them. However, what I see in most cases with the critics of A Mighty Wind is not just simply Christians hating on A Mighty Wind. I see people who are genuinely concerned about the aspects of that organisation, the uh, Almighty Wind Ministries, and how it works, how it operates, how it claims to have the truth, and yet it's hating on people. It's going against the ideas which are meant to be, well, <laughs> sacred. You know, if, if they follow the Bible and follow the ideas of the Bible and you believe in that kind of stuff, then sure, you're meant to follow the rules and they are putting curses on people, hate on people, and I just can't see how that was, that's legitimate, to be entirely fair. You know, people have so many different ideas of truth out there, but if there's bold-faced hypocrisy, I can't see how you legitimise that. How that is legitimate and acceptable in a belief which is meant to have all of these positive characteristics, or at least characteristics that are meant to be Christian. Of course, the Almighty Wind organisation, Almighty Wind Ministries, they would claim that they're following their interpretation or they're following the divine word, which is usually the word of their group leader, or that they have some other equally meaningful and meaningless reason to do as they do. You know what, well, that's all fine and well, you know, believe as you will, but don't act like you're holier than thou, when clearly you're not, okay? You're not actually showing that you are correct, that you're right, when people have criticised you, you've flagged them down. You've flagged me on many occasions. You've flagged Mimica, you've flagged um, Red Smokey, uh, otherwise known as Jihad for Jesus. You've flagged down uh, Thick Shades and many other people. That's a very, very small list, by the way. And I can't help but to think that you're more sponsored by hatred than any form of true spirituality towards your fellow man. At least I can say when I talk to say born again Christians in at least most cases they're willing to talk to you like you're a human being and not just simply some kind of demonic aberration of criticism. <laughs> With a mighty wind it's like they see their critics especially their outspoken critics as being just merely evil and therefore not worthy of being spoken to. It's like they don't, you know, unlike most Christians, they don't actually care about the person's being their soul, if you prefer the term. They don't care about their existence. I mean, I find it annoying when I get pestered by a number of Christian groups, but when they are talking to me, it's like they, they care because they believe in the existence of an immortal soul, so therefore they think they're going to save someone. But when it comes down to a mighty wind, they're following a cult leader, they hate on people, put curses on people, and there isn't that emotionality in there that they actually, well, give a crap. I mean, maybe they do. Maybe they do care. But from what I can see, from what I can tell, it's like they really don't give a shit at all. That's my opinion. I mean, I suppose if they didn't care at all, they wouldn't speak at all. But they're basically following a, a doctrine which is passed on by a woman who claims to be a prophetess for God and receives her prophecy through dreams. And she may well be in prison again. That's uh, debatable. But certainly, I would not trust that woman unless I had very good reason to do so. I'm sure many of the believers out there 
believe they have good reasons to follow, I would simply encourage them to consider their actions and consider where they're getting their orders. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan.